and welcome to my channel. I'm Mandy Grace, author of 10 young adult novels so far, eight of which I'm rewriting this year, and welcome to vlog 12 of that adventure. I don't know how many vlogs there will be by the end, but I feel like there's going to be a lot. Uh, if you've been watching the previous vlog, specifically vlog 11, I was starting to get a little um, disillusioned with the whole writing of Always in Shadow. Uh, we've moved past that. I'm back in a happy space. Um, technically speaking, I've already been writing this week. I just forgot to admit intro, and it's been great. So I don't know what was happening at the end of last week. I was very grumpy, but I'm not grumpy anymore. Also, if I haven't explained yet on this vlog, which I don't remember if I have or not, but if I haven't, my writing group has a hedgehog theme and a gathering of hedgies is called Prickle. So when I talk about being on a Prickle, it's when I am on Zoom with my writing group writing together. Oh, I'm rewriting A uh, Legend of Robin Hood. So I'm in book two, and one of the members of the gang gets captured by the enemy, and then ends up switching sides. Um, so I'm going to be writing that scene um, tonight, and I, I don't know how it's going to go from Much's perspective. Exactly that. I wrote and published them, um, well, the first one uh, roughly ten years ago. Um, when I was 17 and I afterwards I was just very embarrassed by all of the books and I wouldn't necessarily tell people that I had written them or that they were published or whatever I was just pretending they didn't exist um, and I switched which name I was publishing under not to get away from those books specifically but just in general I switched which name I was publishing under and I didn't bring them under the new name because I was just like we don't need to look at those or talk about those or anything um, and then I joined Quill and Cup, and on this random prickle, Anya was like, I was looking into your books, and I was like, that's the most horrifying thing anyone has ever said to me. So, then I had to sit with that and be like, why was I so horrified that Anya wanted to read my books? Um, and I sat with that, like, emotion for a bit, and then decided that I would just rewrite them and republish them and move on from there. So that's what's happening. <laughs> I think it was good. I think I needed it, to be honest. I think I needed to, like, address that fear, and I was just completely ignoring it. So I think it was really good just... You just casually asked about them, and I was like, ah! And then the next day I was like, why? Um, I am working through a section, um, I'm trying to add scenes that were in the original book that I'm rewriting. So we've reached a point where, um, in the original, there's a moment that happens where one of the members of the gang is kidnapped, and then he's rescued. And then immediately after that, um, the sheriff knows things about the gang that he's not supposed to know, and it's very obvious. <laughs> that these two things are connected. So I'm trying to put scenes in the middle so that the reader doesn't know that the member of the gang who was kidnapped is the traitor. Like, I don't want the readers to have a clue until later in the story. So, I've just been filling in um, scenes this week, just putting things... We're just going off on other random rescues and raids and adventures that have nothing to do with this character at all, so that we get we get other story and then we'll come back around to it and be like, oh no, the sheriff knows things. How could he know things? And then the reader won't immediately be like, well, obviously this is why. <laughs> I'm trying to create some red herrings, you know? Um, I ended the purple I was on this morning uh, 
just before a scene where they're trying to ambush a caravan of treasure, um, but one of them gets very injured because at this point um, in the story, one of the gang it has switched sides and is feeding information to the enemy so they were prepared for the ambush. So it's gonna go very, very poorly. And um, yeah, that's where we're at. <laughs> that's amazing. Robin Hood is a fox. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was that was my first introduction to the legend of Robin Hood, and I watched it a million times. I, at some point when I was young, um, I want to say when I was a teenager, we we got a Errol Flynn uh, Robin Hood, which is like I want to say from the forties or fifties or something. Um, so the animated Disney Robin Hood and then the Errol Flynn Robin Hood were the two that I watched the most growing up and then later I started watching more once I decided I wanted to write one. I haven't seen them all by any means but... <laughs>